Welcome back to the kingdom guys. I hope you guys have had a positive and productive week this week. So this week I'll be showing you a time lapse for some experimental art that I did. So uh, normally I like to try and keep designs on books a little bit more abstract, a little bit more pattern based than picture based. Um, I have uh, started experimenting recently with vector art. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically art with very minimal shading. Uh, and you just sort of use block colours. Uh, I really enjoy this form of artwork. I mostly do it on the computer, but I thought if it's block colours, why don't I try and put it in um, a stencil form, which is what I've done here. So what you'll see in today's video is experimental completely, um, because I think the technique that you have to use when using multiple stencils and when using um, just like three or four, is very, very different because of a texture um, thing that happens. But you'll see kind of I made a few mistakes and, and, and things just sort of went a little bit wrong. But I thought I'd still show it because I'm still very proud of the results. So today uh, we are talking about um, a piece I did on Air of Fire. Um, so this is the piece. This is obviously um, at the beginning of the book where Aileen is sat on that terracotta roof and she's um, you know, kind of very down obviously because, spoiler alert, Nehemia is dead um, and um, you've got Rowan in the background and that's kind of where the story starts. I really, really loved this image of her just lying back on the roof, uh, drinking her wine, feeling sorry for herself and I kind of wanted to put that on the cover. Um, so the, here it is again as an image. Uh, so without any more wittering, we'll jump into the time lapse.
enjoyed that. Here's another look. There we go. So there were a few challenges uh, involving this book. Uh, namely, like I said, it was experimental. So I wasn't really sure what to expect. I had to pause a couple of times, as you'll see, uh, in order to put down an acrylic spray. Uh, the acrylic spray ran out on me halfway through this process, which is a big part of the reason as to why this video is coming up a day late. Um, and in order to allow it to dry, I kind of needed to leave it for 24 hours. Um, as you can see, I didn't leave one of the stencils or one of the layers for 24 hours and uh, it didn't go, uh, didn't go great. I had to go in and do a lot of repair work. Uh, also, when layering uh, stencils like this, uh, sponging I think is not the best method moving forwards. Uh, this is because uh, sponging has a very interesting texture left behind, or it does at least at least when I do it. It leaves behind a very bobbly texture, which is not great for a contact to contact stencil, particularly when you've got runny paints. Um, so Pebio paints are fantastic for doing a sprayed edge. The heavy uh, pigment for such a small amount is exactly what you need. I think sponging on the cover um, is actually better to brush. I think, I think in the future I will use brushing on the covers and sponging on the edges. But yeah, that's kind of um, most of what I ran into. Obviously there are a ton of stencils in this. This is not a design that will be going up on my Etsy store. Um, I have given my website a bit of a new look, so please make sure to go and check that out. Link is in the description. Let me know what you think. Uh, I have recently had a lot of requests for commissions. Uh, I have done commissions a lot in the past. A couple of my customers will, will know me. Hi guys. Um, as the commissions are becoming more frequent uh, and a lot of them, um, a lot of the people who end up not commissioning me say it's too expensive I completely understand why everything on my website uh, regarding an order call um, it is all it's all it's all explained there so please make sure to go and check that out let me know what you think if that works for you if it doesn't all of that sort of stuff I want to make sure that you guys have as much access to my art as possible but also make sure that it's affordable anyway if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe uh, I literally got in the mail yesterday a, so um, a ballad of songbirds and snakes the hunger games prequel that will be coming up soon it's got a very interesting cover already but a blank back so I will be putting my own design on the back and giving it a sprayed edge because it didn't come with a sprayed edge uh, another one that's coming up is uh, The Cruel Prince. Again, it's going to have a back design, uh, maybe a sprayed edge, haven't decided yet. Queen of Nothing uh, and Wicked King is definitely uh, in the foreseeable future. Um, I just have to wait for them to actually arrive because I've ordered them and obviously with everything that's going on, uh, postage is taking a little bit longer. Anyway, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I hope you guys have a positive and productive weeks. Bye!